Hello everyone, welcome back to Game of Light. We are playing today King's Quest. I don't know which number it is. It's the remake, it's the reboot, and uh, this game uses the autosave feature. So do not turn off the uh, system when you see this icon. Okay, so we're just going to be playing through this. Uh, I have already started playing. I'm going to be doing it on slot 2. And in fact, no, I'm not going to be doing it in slot 2. I'm going to delete slot 1. Yes, I'm aware. Delete that as well. Oh. Okay. So the clowns, uh, crown symbolizes that you're active on that one. Okay. So it's time to play King's Quest. Yeah, we've not got the chapters yet. Hopefully when the other chapters get released, then um, we'll play them. I've heard among the grapevine that chapter 2 has already been released yet, but I, I want to start with chapter 1. A Night to Remember. Forget me doing stupid voices on this one because it is voiced, so I don't actually need to do stupid voices. And we're playing, I believe. Yes. So I absolutely love this type of game. You have to figure out the puzzles for yourself. You have to do, you know, you have to figure it out from yourself. And you, you feel like when you've accomplished it, it's it's your it's through your own merit. It's not the game's merit. And I think that's just fantastic. Let's have a look at this well. Hmm. It's very damp. Okay. So yeah, when you complete something on this, it feels like you've achieved something for yourself, and you've not done it off the game's actual back, even though obviously it is linear to some extent. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking out of my arse. Let's start again, shall we? Hello, welcome back to Game of Bite. <laughs> uh, we're playing King's Quest. Years, oh shit. But it was the last place left to look. Ooh. Treasures of unfound glory. Look at that swagger. Absolutely swag. That is just a pimp walk if I ever saw one. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Okay. Let's move this mattress out of the way. Right, so let's say um, it was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. The art style in this game is fantastic. I mean, it's just phenomenal. You you can look at it and, and you, obviously it's animated, but it, it looks like it's been like an animated through drawing alone, with the steam from the water or the the kickback from the water. It just looks fantastic. And moving on. Two. Odd contraption has guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. 
I absolutely love the fact that they got Christopher Lloyd to voice King Graham. Because I'm a Back to the Future fan, hardcore Back to the Future fan. Okay. And that's moving forward. Moving forward. Jesus, I thought it was about to hit me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Okay. Whoa, dodgy bridge. Shit. Nestled oh, beneath a crap. slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fable so it's been a while since I recorded. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favourite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... Add a shinier hat to my collection. So I was almost going to ruin plot then. Um, yeah, I haven't recorded in a, quite a while because it's been Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. This is probably going to come out about two weeks later or a week after Christmas. No, two weeks after Christmas. Uh, so my apologies for the, uh, the lateness of me wishing it. A uh, happy new year as well. Holy crap. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the first playthrough. I'm not going to go into much detail about that. I don't want to get rid of, you know, tell you that go, go to another video when you're watching this one. And you will continue to watch this one. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Conundrum. Anyway, look at that animation of the water there. He's really done a good job. So just so you know, I didn't get that far into the story. I, I don't know how long, how, how, um, how long the story actually is. But, I mean, as far as I could tell, I didn't get that far into it. But, you know, we'll see. Bit of an so Indiana Jones missing reference. handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well... I use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then I use Crap. my cleverness to hide. Crap. Oh, that's a big dragon. Okay. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Okay. So hopefully this will complete the... I'm just gonna put that there. I tried to turn that crazy oh, contraption. No, 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 it's fine. I have Someone already heard that. Tempered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did okay. you use to fix the broken switch? Sweet. 
Surely that would have woken the dragon. I mean, I'm not a dragon expert, but surely that would have woken the dragon. Enough noise. The dragon's chains I know. were coiled it on a gigantic to switch My bad, sorry. the cave wall. Okay. Slowly does it. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too. If a mirror now was lots of sleep. What twisted conundrum is this? Well, I'll tell you what, next time on Game of Bite, we're going to continue down the path to the dragon for some stupid fucking reason. See you all next time. Bye bye.